Bonjour. What is a good meal without wine? <laughs> Rubbish. In France, we say Rubbish. But what is wine without a good meal? Yes, it's still wine. Voulez-vous goûter avec moi, everyone? My name is Terence the Sommelier Dan. Now, there are many different kinds of wine in the world and normally I would like to categorise them into two. You think I was going to say the red wine and the white wine, correct? Hmm. No, it is the good wine and the bad wine. And today, I'm going to introduce you to wine tasting with my experience. Experience that I've accumulated over the past 68 years. Tae let's start simple. How to pick the best bottle of wine in your restaurant? SQ, can you bring me the most expensive bottle of wine in your restaurant? Merci. And that's how you pick the best bottle of wine in your restaurant. The soul of a good wine is in its smell. And a good sommelier like me, no, I'm not only good, I'm very experienced as well. Anyway, a good sommelier is able to describe the smell as detailed and as vivid as possible. Use your senses. Tell a story. Draw a picture. And let your imagination flow. Merci. Je suis si belle comme la vigne. This smells like a hummingbird singing at the tip of a golden wave. This smells like a red flower in the garden of a Greece family, but planted by a French gardener. Wow! Whoa. This smell, it elevates my soul to a much purer place. I can see the snow mountains in the Switzerland and the Bavarian princess dancing in the moonlight. I see fire. I see life. Sir, would you like more water? Merci. Now, the first thing you do after pouring the wine into the glass is to admire its colour. Or in France, we say colour. Now, many of you will ask why. Let me tell you why. In the olden centuries, wine chalice are often poorly lit. So, winemakers might drop certain random objects into the wine barrels by accident. For example, lizards, flies, mouses, and little children. That is why we take a closer look at what we are about to drink so that we do not intake certain objects that we do not want to. Now, let's take a look at this glass over here. Now, if you look closely, you can see a grape inside swimming because it is not fully processed during the fermentation stages of the wine. Now, and take a look at this glass over here. If you just look at it, these both glasses seem the same. But look even closer and you find a grape stock inside your red wine. Now, grapes and grape stocks are very common items found in your wine because these are what the winemakers use when they make the wine. Mm, wow, bright, fruity and complex. People make strange sound with their tongue. You must be thinking that they are tasting the wine. <laughs> you are wrong. This tasting technique is in fact an upper class way of flirting. Now, the first sound you make is to attract a random girl. And after that, the description you give to the wine itself is actually compliments that you are giving to her. Let me do a demonstration. Hmm? Dangerous, mysterious, and complicated. How's your wine? Au revoir to you too. Sis, nobody's feelings gets hurt. My name is Terence the Sommelier Dan. Till next time. Merci, je suis si belle comme la vigne, and voulez-vous gaucher avec moi? Wow, banana! Rubbish. Rubbish. 
Habish. Let's start simple. How do we... <laughs> Jason! <laughs> you know, you laugh, I sure laugh, man. Wow! Wow! <laughs> 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 I cannot do it! <laughs> Till next time. Merci. Se vous la vie. Voulez-vous coucher? Avouez-moi.